here we are, Location Lux. I'm your host, Alan Canis, and here in season one, we'll be focused on what we're calling the Great Lifestyle Migration. On each episode, I'll be right here in San Francisco, Silicon Valley. Over the last few decades, we've witnessed a great migration for employment and technology development. As such, the need and demand for homes has been among the highest in the country. These migration choices are giving people an extraordinary opportunity to explore new locations, amenities, and lifestyle options. And that's why we're here. Location Lux. This week in this very special pilot episode, I am so pleased to welcome Julie Foppel, direct from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Julie, thank you so much for joining us today. It's such a pleasure to be here, Alan. I'm delighted to, uh, to help you get to know this beautiful destination a little better. I am so glad that you joined us today. You know what, Julie is going to take us through how Jackson Hole really is more of a destination location. It's a beautiful lifestyle. But before that, Julie, you have to tell the people a little about you and where are you? <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Well, I am standing in front of 2,000 acres of conserved ranch land right now. You can see my neighbors, the cows are right behind me over here. It's an amazing place that I've lived for 18 years, and I think it's the perfect spot to really kick off this amazing series called The Great Lifestyle Migration. You know, when you think about all of the different migrations that are happening right now in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, whether it's elk or moose or bison, um, you know, the fact that they're moving around to find a different habitat. And it's the same thing that's kind of happening in our real estate landscape. So my husband and I migrated here 18 years ago and started our company 12 years ago. And we've just never looked back. We love this place. And um, certainly it's, it's not hard to sell real estate here amongst such beauty. You know, I mean, it is still kind of the last of the old west and this incredible cowboy culture and community. We're all hearing about Jackson Hole, but tell us, why are we seeing so many people migrate to Jackson Hole? I think that there's so much that's driving kind of the demand that we're seeing right now. You know, it is, it's a very special place and you kind of move here because of the outdoors and all of the incredible lifestyle pursuits, whether you're a skier or a hiker or a mountain biker um, or a fly fisherman, but then you stay because of the incredible community and connection that you share with the individuals that are also residents here. So it's a, it is really kind of a balance between the two. And, um, and you know, we're seeing more and more people kind of relocating because of whether it's tax benefit or whether it's because of technology. You know, certainly the fact that people can now telecommute or, um, or really zoom in from anywhere. And as we've all really learned this year, um, you know, it's far less important for us to live where the headquarters are and, um, and probably more important for us to live where we love. And so we're seeing more people come in for those reasons. Um, and not to mention, you know, our tax benefits, the fact that we've got um, no state income tax, um, no estate tax. We have a thousand year dynasty trust very, very low property taxes. So it is, it's, it's a remarkable place. Um, and certainly it's attracting a lot of attention right now. One of my favorite stories, and I would love it if you could share this on this segment, share your ice cream story. <laughs> I love it. Well, so, you know, it's funny because my husband and I both grew up in the Midwest. We're, we're small town people. And, and um, so when we moved to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, we didn't really know what to expect. You know, it's a destination. It's got a lot of people from a lot of different, you know, places in the United States, places in the world. And, and you know, one of the things that was probably my favorite part about Jackson is that we have a very low crime rate. And so of all of the places that I've lived and all of the real estate that I've sold here, um, it's actually quite unique if somebody has a house key. And so for example, I, I couldn't tell you where, where keys to my home are. And, um, and so we had neighbors that were actually, you know, I mean, obviously we lived in the neighborhood and we were at the end of a cul-de-sac and um, we had neighbors that while we were out of town for the weekend, they left us a note that said, welcome home, Fopples. 
the next time you leave, please make sure there's more ice cream in the freezer so that you won't know when we've taken some. And so that's the kind of place that this is. It's very neighborly and it's very, very friendly. And we kind of pride ourselves on that. You know, it, it is a place where I think because so many people have migrated here from other parts of the world, your friends truly become your family. And it is it is a tribe. And and um, and there is a sense of community that we hold very, very close to our hearts and that we don't ever want to lose. And Julie, where do you think people are really migrating from? Well, I think, you know, we're seeing a huge demand from, um, you know, from Silicon Valley, the Bay Area, um, Los Angeles, Seattle, uh, Chicago, New York. Um, you know, we have fabulous air service here. And so it's always been as our air service has grown, we've seen a lot of um, we've seen a lot of demand kind of coming from those direct flights. One of the things that we've done as a business community is that we supplement seats on those airlines so that when they're coming in, if they're not full at first, the businesses guarantee those seats so that then it can kind of have a ramp up effect as the demand increases from that urban environment to this destination. So you've got a lot of support from the business community here to really make this a destination that is sustainable kind of long term. And Julie, can you tell us also a little bit about the architectural styles and about the land and the buildings? Of course. So one of the things that makes Jackson, the property value so high in Jackson Hole is the fact that only 3% of our land is actually developable. So, I mean, as I mentioned, kind of when we started off this interview, Alan, the land behind me is held in conservation in perpetuity. And so it can never be developed. Those views will never change. And that's kind of the case, wow. you know, in, in most of the valley, people wanting a little bit more elbow room and people wanting to kind of have their place of the, of the mountain West, it really, it embodies kind of that desire here in Jackson. Architecturally, we're seeing more people wanting something a little bit more contemporary, but still with some mountain modern aspects. So whether they're using barn wood or moss rock or different things like that, but incorporating it into a, a much more contemporary design, that's really what the, um, where the demand exists today. Now, that being said, you know, we've also got Obviously, log homes were really all of the rage in the 80s and 90s, and so we have a lot of those. And so rehabbing those and bringing elements in that are more um, kind of, not necessarily contemporary, but more soft and, and warm to kind of warm up those log homes. So whether you've got a beautiful cashmere sofa or Laura Piana drapes, I mean, things like that that just really make people feel like they're like the house is giving you a hug. You know, when it's, when it's this cold outside, when it's this cold outside, do you want the house to give you a hug? <laughs> a big hug. <laughs> is there anything that you would want to tell somebody that's relocating or thinking about relocating the Jackson Hole? So I have sold over $2 billion worth of real estate here in this valley. And I've never had somebody say, I sh never should have bought that house in Jackson Hole. <laughs> you know, it's not a mistake. And and the people that, you know, find their way here, it's a really special group. And it ends up being, um, you know, so much a legacy of a family or, you know, this, this um, kind of moment for somebody. You know, it's the culmination of things. And it's one of the things that I love about real estate out here is that, you know, when you get to acquire a property in Jackson, Wyoming, it's... It is meaningful. It's a spike in time for that family or for that, you know, for a lifetime of hard work or, you know, all sorts of different things. So it's, uh, it, it, I, could, I would just say that they wouldn't regret it. What a thrill, Julie. Thanks for joining us on the premiere episode of season one of Location Lux, the great lifestyle migration. Thank you, Alan. It is such a pleasure. You are such a professional and I'm just delighted to have joined you. We're looking forward to seeing all of you again right here on Design TV by Sandow. Julie, thank you again. Thank you, take care, be well. And you stay warm. <laughs> <laughs>